understanding You respected every boundary You saw accepting Was in expecting For you to be here still Hi and what's up good people I hope you are doing good I hope you are doing fantastic Welcome back to my YouTube channel In case you are new here My good name is Mercy In case you are a returning subscriber Thank you so much for coming back to this channel For watching my video For appreciating my content uh, today I'm back again with another video. I told you guys I'm coming back again to do another another video about Huka. It's more of a product review. I'm going to review or or all about um this uh Mika electric standing cooker. I'm going to give you my 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 review on it and also the factors that you should consider when you want to purchase an electric um a standing cooker so that's the video that i'm going to, to do today i hope you're going to learn something and i hope if you're going to purchase that electric cooker these are the things that you're going to consider when you're purchasing your standing electric cooker so guys let's get into the video so guys today i want to talk about uh this uh my Mika electric standing cooker the reason as to why i purchased this cooker because there are some things that you need to consider when you're choosing an an electric cooker there are so many things that you should consider you should not just go to the shop and uh, just buy a cooker because you need a cooker you, just, you need to have some specification that you need your cooker to have so number one thing that made me to choose this type of uh, cooker not specific specifically the brand i'm not going to talk the, about the brand here i'm going to talk about all the specification of this uh of this make of this uh uh, standing electric cooker so number one thing that i'm going to talk about it's about the 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 top of this cooker as you can see it's stainless it doesn't have any coating either the the brown coating or the black coating that other cookers have but the reason as to why i chose this is because uh it's easy to clean and if, if there's any time that it gets um like a scratch you know I'm not the only one who is using this. I'm not the only one who is cleaning this. Maybe you are in your house, you have a house help or or you have someone who comes and uh, do some house chores maybe once in a week or weekly and then he or she, she comes and clean your cooker and maybe anafanya inakuwa na scratch. That scratch in a lead to cook then you need the cooker having some rust in that in those uh, scratched places and you know it, it's not that every time don't do this don't do this it's just for you to have like things that unajua hata mtu akikuja kuzi handle hata aribu so the reason as to why i chose um specifically a cooker that is like stainless aina any coating ju it's because of that it's because if it gets any scratch haina shida it's easy to clean at a clean vizuri maybe anatumia that the like uh something ya ile ya vyombo and then it scratch somewhere there's no any damage that is going to happen on this top that is the reason why i chose it to be stainless steel at the top so number one thing that you should consider when you are selecting your cooker i would advise you select a cooker that is stainless steel at the top another thing that i chose for this cooker is about the four burner or the four burner plates i didn't see the need of me having the 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 electric plate uh because i would rather have another another gas cylinder maybe a 6 kg gas cylinder uh any icona gas icona gas so just in case the other the other cylinder is like in Asia, it's empty i will use the the small cylinder rather than having the hot plate there and i'm not going to use it each and every time i, I would rather have all the four that i'm going to utilize them all of the four of them i'm going to work with the four of them i can uh be cooking somewhere something here there there and here so that's the reason why i chose the four burner cooker uh, the other thing that i chose that um was um number one thing for me for this cooker it's about the the child lock uh, thing because when you come here to this cooker let's go down below here as you can see the knobs down here 
uh, even if I twist them like like this, there's no gas that is going to leak out. I just have to like press it in like this so that the gas can come out. So like uh, like uh, right now my son is at the height that anafikia paju and anakuja ananza ku twist twist this uh these knobs and of which if it it didn't have that child lock thing in a in a lead to gas leak because maybe sometimes are forgotten like to 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 nini to switch off the gas at the here at the at the main cylinder so the number one the other thing that in Furaisha about the specification of this uh, standing cooker it's about the child lock thing higher another thing that is on this cooker when you come here let me just remove this there's these two things that ziko kwazote is only they are they are like um there's a sensor here this sensor especially when you are boiling milk milk sometimes in a each and every time the other second it's it, it's uh, it's out of this furia all of it so the reason as to why i chose this is because it ha it kind of not kind of it has a sensor when the milk pours all over here then you need the gas the gas turns itself off and no gas is going to come out i don't know if you're understanding what i'm saying i mean that if something maybe it's not even milk or if any liquid that comes out and pour and maybe in a kundani, the gas will turn itself off and when it turns itself off now that specific plate that the specific uh, burner turns itself off and there's no gas is going to leak out until you come and switch on the gas again that's the reason why i really 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 um chose this uh cooker and i think that's a thing that you should consider because you may be out somewhere and then umesa how you know we we, we tend to for, to forget maybe to make a maziwa jikoni and then it pours out and um unapata imemwagika and then the gas maybe imeposha gas and then the gas it's it's leaking of which it's not safe so number one thing that i i loved about it about that 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 um, sensor thing it's for for safety measures um the other thing that i loved about it and i should i think i should advise on this is when you are selecting your your standing electric cooker you should select a a, a size that is good for you a size that you are going to use for long when you're going to select this cooker guys they, they are of different sizes like this one it's a 60 by 60 standing cooker there's there are others which are 50, 50 by, by 60 so what i mean by 60 by 60 is this length and the other length it's 60 by 60 but others you'll find it's 60 by 50 so you, you'll find that maybe it may fit somewhere here and it's a little bit uh squeezed when you are you are cooking like maybe three sufurias a wazi ekelea zote pamoja you have to cook on one side so what's the need of having it and you can't use this side when you have to sufuria the other side or you cook here and you cook there but you can't place another sufuria there you understand so when you use you are, when you are choosing a uh, an electric cooker you should determine you should look at the the size the size of that of that electric cooker that you are choosing okay the, then you need the, like the 50 by 60 it's a little bit cheaper but you'd rather save for the extra coin that is going to in and kufikisha the price of the 60 by 60 so that you can have something that is big and um it's going to accommodate all the sephorias that you have and the other size that is out there in the market is a 60 by 90 it's like a 60 then by 90 it's so it's long so it has maybe the four banners and the hot plate at the center or the four banners and maybe another big banner at the center so you should choose on the size that is 
com- you are comfortable with and you know that this one is I'm going to it's going to serve me for long so most people I see I see most people buying the the 60 by 60 and then you if you want to upgrade you go for the 60 by the 90 by 60 yeah so you should look very, you should be very careful about the size that you are going to buy i another thing that you should be very careful when you're going to buy um a standing cooker you should uh, you know out here maybe you are you are on your maybe the social media you you go there and you find that this supermarket or another maybe another shop is offering some uh, discounts or the the cookers are on uh, offer and then you go the buy the cooker now there are cookers that don't have an electric oven so there are cookers that you use the gas and it's a gas oven you have to turn off the gas you have to turn on the gas so that you can use the oven it's not using the electricity of which i don't think that is so that that for me that's not economical for me because each and every time that you're going to maybe you want to bake you're using the gas you want to cook you're using the gas instead of like unanini you alternate you use the the, the, the electricity the electricity to to bake and then you use the 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 gas to to cook so i would advise you you should learn first you should know the specification of that uh, standing cooker so that you can know is it a a gas oven or is it an electric oven and i would advise if you are going for a for a for a cooker go for the for the electric oven it's a, a little bit good and economical because you're going to use both the, both the electricity and the and the gas yeah so that's a number one thing that you should consider when you're looking for a standing gas and penye uh, tumefika guys if this video is um you're learning something out of it kindly 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 i uh, like this video share this video and don't forget to subscribe please 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 i urge you please i beg you please kindly kindly consider subscribing and uh-huh, hey let's move on another thing that you should consider for me i was uh, like um see could consider what i'm going to talk about next but i believe that sorry for that i believe that uh, when you are, when you are going to choose an electric cooker for you um for me i didn't look at this factor this is what i'm i'm, I'm talking about when you are cleaning this um this cooker down here as you can see i don't know if you can yeah you can see this this is in a chai ilimwagika kutoka huko juu then ikakuja kare imeteremka huko chini but now for this specific brand you can't open yani you really have to unscrew this this um, screws for you to clean the inner mirror that is inside there but there are some other 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 other, other electric cooker that you can really like uh, it's easy to clean because you can easily remove the inner mirror then you clean it then you place it back but for this specific brand you have to unscrew these screws for you to to nini to clean to clean the inner mirror and it's a lot it's a lot of work so i would i would advise if you if you are going to buy a nini um a standing cooker kindly consider a, a cooker that you can be easily be able to remove that inside mirror in case something happen up here and maybe the overflow of food and all that you can be able to clean for the the brand that i know that you can clean easily easily is um is von von i think i know i know yes i know not i think you can clean it easily because you can be able to remove the the nini the the inner mirror i'm going to uh, to place a video on top here to show you how von works and how you can clean that uh, that inner mirror yeah yeah so that's one thing that i forgot to look about but sikwana jua i came to realize later but all in all at least it it uh, it didn't fail me in uh, in everything yeah so guys i think those are the things that you should consider when you are buying an electric hooker and uh 
I hope that's go what you are going to consider when you are going to buy an electric cooker. Don't just buy a cooker because you need a cooker. You need to look at all those specifications that I've talked about. About the brand, I cannot advise you on which brand and which brand to nini. To, to to take because for me i'm not a person of a tea. i need this brand in my house i need this brand maybe it's lg maybe it's samsung me i'm like i'm going to try each and every brand well and good but i'm welcome i'm i'm welcoming all brands to my house because for me like you can find you can find that my cooker is maker my tv is another brand maybe maybe vision tcl or samsung or lg my fridge is ramtons my microwave is you know but all in all you have to try all those all those uh, brands and know which you are comfortable with another thing it's because of the budget you know you're budgeting on these things you are on a budget on buying these things and you'll find that some brands are more expensive and you you, you need th this thing and is if it was always in our but it's the same so i think you should go with what you are comfortable with so for the brand go for the brand that you're comfortable with or for the brand that you have that appliance in your house and you know this brand is a good brand so guys uh i think that's it uh for today we turn the camera <laughs> so that that's it for today guys um i hope you have learned something i hope if you are going to purchase for a, a cooker those are the things that you are going to consider guys just in case you're watching this video you have not subscribed to this channel kindly kindly consider subscribing like share and please uh leave some com uh, some positive comments down there i really really appreciate so until next time guys see you on my next video